In this lesson, we are going to learn about gradient tool. The gradient tool you can find in toolbar. Here is a gradient tool. Just click and activate the gradient tool. And once you activate, you'll see the options here are changed. First of all, let's create a new layer. And I want to apply gradient on this layer. How can I apply? After selecting, you have here gradient editor. Go to the gradient editor and choose the colors. Gradient editor having lots of presets. You can see here, these are some basics. Then if you want, you have some blues, purples, and a lot more. Let's try something. Let's say I have this one. And when you click, it will appear here. And you can easily edit, remove, or add colors in this. So let's say if I want to change the color, you have to double click on this flag and you'll see you have a color editor and you can pick the color here. If you want to remove, you can just select and delete the flag. For now, I want to keep it. And then these are the transition points. The more closer the two flag, the more harsh line between those two colors, the transition will be more harsh. If it's more far away from each other, you will see the transition will be more smooth. You can move and edit this flag. These are, this is the starting point and this is the ending flag. So the start flag and end flag is having an opacity control. If I have just two colors in front, or maybe here, if I want to make a transparent, I can just reduce the opacity and you can see the colors will blend in this way. For now, I want it full. And let's just click OK. And you see now it appears. You can easily see which gradient you are using. And then here you have to choose which shape you want to use. The first one is the linear. The linear gradient works in a way like when you just click and drag your mouse and then release. And you'll see you have a nice gradient in your scene, in your canvas, like this like this, whatever you want, it is all manual and you can just play with it. It will give you nice, nice results. The more closer, the more harsh transition you will receive to the more tight. The more far away you will have a nice smooth transitions between the colors. Then you have radial like this. Then you have this one, this is called angular gradient. You'll see this weird line here. There's a shadow gradient, reflection gradient. Okay, you just click the more tighten, more far, it's more smooth. Switch so is how you do it. Press shift to make it a straight line like this. Then you have star, something like this. All right, let's take this one. And let's just draw. So you see, this is one way of creating gradient. There is another way. Now here you can see, if I move this, the whole layer is moving. What if I want to just move the gradient and not the layer? In that case, you need to use other approach. Let me delete this. Go to the layer, new fill layer and gradient. And click OK. And you see you have a new layer along with the gradient. Same those things are appearing now. Here is the gradient. Let's go to different color this time. Maybe this one. You have two colors. If you make it transparent, it will be like this. See, there is no color here. So the background layer will be visible. All right. Let's say I choose this color. Then you have style. Which style you want, linear, radial, angular, whatever it is, you can choose here. Then you have angle. Like when you draw from here, we used to do manual angles, but here you cannot do here. You have to adjust like this. Then you have scale, how big the gradient you want. Now manually, when we were doing, we were scaling with hands, small, tighter or whatever. So here you have to do like this. See, this is more near to each other, the two points. This is more far away, far away. So here you cannot do manually, but with this calculator. 
let's say I want something like this. Now, let's switch off this button, align with layer, and click OK, and then again click. So you can move the gradient, see? Only the gradient. You have to switch off this. If you click, then it will move along with the layer, like it does with the gradient too. See? So this is one very nice thing. But remember, you have to click OK and then double click and open again. This is a bug. It will not work directly. And then just click OK. If you want to reverse, reverse from here. This is a detail. Detail will work in a way like sometimes when you're creating the gradient, it will bend or something. You just click here and it will remove the bend. Bending in the gradient will be solved and it will make more smooth to your gradient, more, more smooth effect with your gradient, with the detail. Then you have, uh, that's it. And then you just click OK. And you have a gradient. So this is another way of creating a gradient. There's one more way of creating gradient. Let's just have an empty layer here. OK, and just fill any color and double click on it. And you have gradient overlay. And here also, you can choose the colors. And you can work in the same way. Everything is same along with the layer can be off and then you can move here. You don't have to click OK and then open again. And you can see you can move the gradient. And you can make angular, scale, linear or whatever. Everything is same. So you can apply from here also. And from adjustment layer also, you have a gradient. And this is the same which you do from layer and new fill layer. Same thing. So these are the tricks. Now, how you can use gradient? Now, let's see some practical usage. So you can see here, we have uh, this file from our previous classes. And I can just go to the layer, go to new fill layer this time and gradient. OK. Click OK, put it down here and then change the color. Let's say let's go here and I'll choose something like some pastel colors. And I think this is looking nice here. And you see, we changed the background. Let's see one more example. So let's say I want to improve these rays here, sun rays. What you can do is, let's go here in the layer, create a gradient fill layer, click OK. Go to the gradient editor, and here you have type. I'll choose noise like this and click OK and use, let's say, angle. And you see, we have a nice effect here. Let's say I want somewhere on top here. And then just click OK. Now add your saturation. And I will desaturate this thing and add a clip mask. So this will affect only this and not the original picture. And now when you do screen or maybe, oops, sorry. So I'll do, let's say screen. And you see, we have nice rays here and I'll put somewhere here. Go here and just try some randomized effect. This is looking nice. Click OK. And then I'll apply some levels. Again, same thing, click mask. And I'll reduce some black part. And you can use opacity. Like this. That is nice. Merge all this to make it one. Again, I can go and click on screen. I'll apply mask. And I can just use this mask over here. And I paint accordingly what I want.
Right, and you have a nice lens flare effect. So I'll just fill this with the black and go to the filter. And you have lens flare in the render. Maybe somewhere. Just click OK. And I'll make it screen. And you see, this was the original. And here you have a nice gradient with the lens flare. So this is another usage of the gradient. So this is how you can use gradient, change backgrounds, create effects, and enhance your image with light and shadows. Even if you want to change the overall color of uh, your scene, you can do it with the old is like if I want to create a new layer here with the gradient. Okay, and let's change a darker color. So maybe the blue would be fine. I guess. And you can just play with the blending tools. And you can see, you can have a nice tone on your image. I think this one was nice. And I can just reduce the opacity. And you can see I have nice blue effect in my scene. You see the whole scene, the whole story is changed. So this is how you can use gradient. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.